Hi YouTubers, I want to talk about relationship advice and when they start going down. So I know like a lot of people, a lot of guys and girls, whatever, you live together or you're just spending like a weekend together, when arguments lead to fights, I know how that is because I've been through it, but like don't let it get to the point where you're slamming doors and name calling and you know the heat is really on because you're you're yelling to the point where you guys can't hear over each other and you just want to win the argument. That's how I used to think, but I kind of outgrown that. I've come to the I've come to the like terms where I realize that I could be wrong, he could be wrong, he could be right, I could be right, or I'm right, and he just doesn't want to admit I'm wrong because usually that's how it is in the argument sometimes. The other person, wh whoever's wrong, they just like to make excuses for whatever you're fighting about, and they don't like to admit it. The first, the first thing you need to notice is like when someone's lying, and if you even have the proof or whatever, like before the argument started, you were there, and they could say, "What are you talking about?" Or it could have to do with. I don't, this doesn't happen to me, but a lot of times, like, you have, I mean, it, it just, it does happen. You have, like, a pen code on your phone, so, like, no one, because whatever's in your phone, that's your privacy, like, that's your life. Like, you make a pen for a reason. Maybe they don't understand that, and you could fall asleep, and they're just, like, maybe they saw you earlier, like, over, over your shoulder, and they got your pen. And then, like, next thing you know, you see them. Because, of course, they're upset. Maybe you have a co-worker, a friend named Kevin. And they're just like, who's this Kevin? Maybe he asked you to lunch or let's go get a drink. Like, that doesn't mean anything. It could just be like, you know, you guys just wanted to eat together. That's an example. And then, next thing you know, they're yelling. And, like, he could be like, you're a slut or... I don't know, one thing leads to the other, and you're just like, you want to pack your stuff and leave, or he does, but even if, I mean, if that's what it takes, if you think the relationship isn't going anywhere in the first place, argument after argument after argument every time, it's going to be the same. So if he wants to leave or you want to leave, don't make yourself miserable, then just do it. I mean, I'm not... I'm not a doctor or an expert, but you see when it's like right in front of your face because even if he just wants to go for a long drive or say you just want to like get out until it's calmed down, even if you have to go in separate rooms, just do it because don't sit there while you guys are staring at each other like, you know, and you just can't stand the other person because it could be quiet for like one whole minute, like the next, oh, whatever, whatever. And you're bringing it up again. You're bringing it up again. And you're just like, can't you just let it go? I don't want to hear this anymore. Because I've had it happen. And I've had it happen in an actual car. I know this is like, it's, and it's to the point, and it's like, you don't know who listening or watching and it's like broad daylight I mean sometimes it was my fault I mean like me and my boyfriend were just taking a nap in his truck and I was kind of grouchy but I was to the point I like bent his antenna and we were in front of a hospital um that's not the place to be arguing there's sick people there but it happens I mean but you know even if he does get upset that's the button I don't want to push because he's older than me and I shouldn't have did that but I was like I'm just the person type of person when I wake up I could just be in any kind of mood and he was just like there was a doctor right there and he was like I told the doctor do you need to put this dude away he's psycho or whatever and then I guess the doctor was like ha oh, laughing and the boyfriend was my boyfriend was like oh yeah, well, she's the crazy one, or whatever, even though it was between us, not that doctor, but I just walked away, and I went to my dad's house for like five days or whatever, four days, 
and then we just got over it, and I didn't do that anymore, but there's reason behind, I mean, I sh don't have an excuse to be grouchy and break yourself or whatever, but it's never really gotten to the point where it's physical. If it gets to that point, I think you should leave. I think people, even underage girls that have boyfriends, they tend to be abused and they don't tell anybody or they don't want to focus on their grades or school. They rather focus on dating, but that's not going to help later on. So I think you should take time before you make that huge step because you need to decide if it's the person you want to spend most of your time with or all of your time with because when one relationship doesn't work out, you can always, you know, you guys can always go your separate ways. It's not a bad thing, but sometimes people don't want to do that because they just get attached or used to the situation and they think it's okay that oh this this is how it's gonna be and no it's not like another thing is before you get intimate you need to make you need to know like you guys are comfortable sleeping together because ask them who did you sleep with who did you sleep with don't just exchange bodily fluids all the time because that's not healthy either and, but as, as far as the honeymoon goes, sometimes it's over stupid little stuff that's not even worth an argument and it just turns into something big like, oh, you use my toothbrush. No, I don't do that, but even that's dumb. You can go buy another one for a dollar. <clears throat> so, just try to get along and be happy with who you're with. Don't let them anybody overpower you or control you. And that's all I have to say.